Hello, so I was asked when I was last doing a live stream, or it was on the Half-Life 2 live streams, could I do a video where I demonstrated that FP5 filters work on various other Ghost masks other than the GP5? And I'm pretty sure I've shown them on GP5s and PMG1s in videos before. So I've not got every Ghost mask here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate it on a Czechoslovakian CM3 and a Soviet PMK1 because those are both Ghost masks that have quite different threads than the regular ones because I've already demonstrated it on the GP5 obviously it's going to work on the GP5 and the SHM41 style metal Soviet ones uh, so what I'm doing here is I have older Soviet masks and a um, Czechoslovakian one the Polish one have the same thread I imagine as well but they're all meant to be Ghost but the point is will this filter fit on other masks uh, I didn't bother getting out my Hungarian M76 for this, simply because that mask doesn't make an airtight seal to my face anyway, so I can't really test it. So, um, I obviously, that's the FP5 filter. And you can see on there it's actually an FP5, because some people are saying, are FP5 GP5 filters? No. FP5, as I've gone over a few times, are Polish filters from after the Cold War quite recently. And the idea is that they're normalised or standardised, which means they fit multiple masks. So, here is a Czechoslovakian CM3. It's got the nice bake-like filter assembly thing. Right, that's got in fine. It doesn't seem to have any wobble on it. So, uh, let me get the mask on. Then I'll get the banana oil out and test it with the banana oil. And see if I can get it to function. So let's. As for people saying my M10 smells funny and things like this, yeah, there is a distinctive smell to the Czechoslovakian rubber. It's actually very good rubber, but it does have a bit of a smell to it, I guess. Right, okay, I think that's on properly. As I said, these aren't the most comfortable masks in the world, but they do work. Right, seems to pressurise. That's normally a good sign. <coughs> now we will try the um, actual isomel acetate or banana oil. Can't smell any through the filter. Now let's go along with it. No smell at all, so uh, we can establish that this mask works fine with the FP5 filter, as it should, but, you know, let's just get this mask off now. Which is easier said than done, because these straps don't want to undo. Let's lift it off like this. Ow. <laughs> myself on the head of the field <laughs> um, but yeah I can faintly smell an on oil now so yeah so obviously that does work for Czech CM3 the filter that comes in there just to show you it I've got it sealed at the moment let me just put this down so I've got a free hand <clears throat> the filter that comes in here is one of these <coughs> people have asked me are these safe personally I wouldn't use them but, as I said, <coughs> I think they'd be better than the Soviet GP5 style filter if you were going to use one of these. That's a cool thread on this, it's got a green thread. Look at that. <laughs> Bright green thread. Got a bit of weird marking at the top. But yeah, like I said, these aren't actual Soviet filters in a sense. These are <coughs> Czechoslovakian ones, but that doesn't mean that asbestos wasn't used inside the filter. Can I get a good look at the particulate layer? Not really, but I'm assuming that will be a similar kind of material to the um, Soviet ones. Because that's what, when people ask me about the old sort of communist, uh, communist Poland, communist Czechoslovakia, communist Hungary filters, even if they're not directly Soviet filters, I wouldn't personally use them. That's why I'd say go for the post-communist stuff. Because, you know, post-communism, most countries have said we're not using asbestos and stuff anymore where... The commies are kind of fans of asbestos, as people have said, there's actually a town in Russia called asbestos. Um, there's also a town in Canada called asbestos. The Canadians are really big fans of asbestos. 
Um, so, uh, yeah. Regarding this mask, though, yes, the filter does work on it. So, um, let's see if I can get this down without crushing the mask horribly. So, yep, yeah, regarding your question, yes, you can use this um, with a Canadian, not Canadian, with a Czechoslovakian CM3. The uh, FP5 filter Now one of my favourite masks uh, ever, I lie, it is the Soviet um, PMK1. So, it looks cool, I mean I will admit it looks cool, but, um, you know, these weren't the best quality controlled masks made by the Soviet Union by a long shot. Yeah, that seems to have screwed in fine, not any real wobble on the filter. You can see it's got that horrid uh, inner seal that this mask tends to like. So, let's try and get that on. Okay, I've got the mask on. It seems to be leaking, but I don't know if that's the FP5 filter leaking or it's just a bad mask design. Right, anyway, I'll try the banana oil regardless because I don't think I'm going to get it much better than that because it is, um, after all, a PMK one. Yeah, I can smell the banana oil, but I think this is a fault with the actual valve on the mask. Um, when I did the video on the GP7, which is like the civilian version of this, the GP7 um, actually has a really bad thread on here, and it won't fit any Ghost filters, because the Russian quality control when these masks were made was atrocious. So, what I want to establish is you know, is the air leaking from around this bit. Oh, so what I'm going to do is just try re-screwing this filter in. Let's give it a really good tighten. Alright, I'm not going to do it any tighter than that, just in case the filter refuses to come off, but let's see if it now works. Yeah, it sounds more like it's pressurised this time. Yeah, I can't smell the banana oil now, so... This filter port seems to work if you put loads and loads of force on the filter to get it fully in, which you shouldn't have to do. But otherwise, it seems to be a very dodgy port. So, um, yeah, this does work, but obviously... This mask fogs up very quickly, because they didn't design this mask as well as the previous Soviet masks. It's got that weird inner face seal I don't like. In some ways it's comfortable, I mean the straps are definitely not that comfortable, but... It's not too bad. I suppose, in a sense. You just do the bottom straps up a little, so it tightens more like an actual respirator should, but... Yeah, um, I wouldn't want to use this mask, but I think it would actually function well enough. Other than fogging up really quickly because it doesn't have Tissot tubes in it or a uh, anti-sort of fog or a nasal cup in it. So let me get that back off. It's tight. There we go, I can immediately smell banana oil again. So yes, regarding the question of does it work on various masks, yes. As said, I have tried this filter now, for definite on a GP5, a PMK1, and the Czech CM3. I'm sure I have also tested it on a PMG1 in a different video, and I might have even done it on done it on different Soviet things. But the older Polish filters worked fine on those masks, and if the older Polish ones work, then these will work because it's the same thread. So, yeah. To answer your question, FP5s, as far as I'm aware, work on pretty much every mask in 40mm, regardless if it's, uh, you know, an RD40 thread, like a NATO thread, or if it's a Ghost thread, they seem to work fine. So there you go. Um, yeah, there'll be a link in the description to Beastor's page where he's got these, but yeah, to anybody who's asking the question, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are just going to work on any of the old Ghost masks, because it's a normalised thread, as I've said before. What that means in layman speak is that, if I can get this off, 
again is that this thread is designed to kind of sit somewhere between a NATO and a GOST thread in terms of thread pitch and width and that means that it should in theory at least in theory you know work on pretty much everything so there you go yes the FP5 filter as far as I'm aware does fit any GOST mask I'm not going to get more GOST masks out to test it because everything I've tested it on so far has worked so you know I don't feel like dragging out more and more masks just to keep proving that it works but there you go it does work.